Uh, listen, I want to talk a little bit about play. Playing. And the reason why I've brought up these more serious subjects is to really, really, really try to get you guys to do non-judgment, no such thing as good and bad, this is just a game. If you could get past that so that everything I bring up does not spark a fervor and a fight and an extreme response, then we can have some fun talking about the way this thing was created. If you look at it objectively, it is absolutely amazing. It is amazing the way it's been created and put together. Now, I'm not going to go into how it was created so that your minds can stay busy and you could sort it all out because, as I've said before, it is way too complex for your human brain to try to analyze and figure out. But as you're going through the day, you run across things that are just amazing that they came up with it. Uh, ways that that we as as source, we as the creative uh, beings that we are, we're able to figure out ways to get the vibrations lower and lower. Then what I do whenever I'm out and about and looking at things, instead of getting triggered to defend or to get angry, what I'm doing is usually looking at how it works into the whole and how amazing that is that they came up with it. Uh, in particular cases. I've got a really good one with Tara, but she probably should tell you that herself. But they are so intricate in their sneakiness of how to to do things that if you look at it like the most massive chess game ever, then it becomes fascinating. Now, to me, I look at this as a game, and I look at these as all moves, like chess moves. And so to me, I become very interested on how to catch them and counteract whatever it is they have in place. And they've been doing this for millions of years. I've never been on planet Earth before. So I consider when I find one of these, I don't get mad and angry and blow up, blow up in my mind about it anymore. And I did. So I'm not judging you. I know that I've been where... A lot of you are whenever you're used to being the good guy and saving the day and helping people. So I had to disconnect from that. But once I did, now as I look through it and I walk through life and see these events occurring and see them attempted on me or look at the past and see how it worked on me so that I won't allow it in the future, Whenever I do that, now it becomes a game. It becomes seriously a real game. And whenever I catch one or can counteract it or something like that, I consider that a huge win and put that in my category of good job because they are so good at it and it is so intricate that if I can catch one and counteract it, uh, to me that's a big jump up and down uh, butterfly and balloons day. So... Uh, to me, that makes me laugh, and it makes me happy. And like G-Man's always saying, uh, try not to take it as seriously as you are. I know it, it. that's hard to do because it feels so heavy on us, but really, seriously, there are ways that you can be happier every day. There are videos on YouTube to just that'll keep you smiling with the animals and the little kids. And uh, so if you concentrate on that stuff, go out and have fun, play, play with your kids, play with the neighbors, play with each other, uh, go to places and sing, go to concerts, open, uh, go out to nature. Uh, let's, let's hear some and see some videos on you guys feeling better, especially when it's winter here. All you guys that are over on the other side of the planet and you've got outdoor activities that you could do. Um, share those with us. You know, let let everybody see the happy vibes too. Uh, I know you won't be happy like at home, but you can be a little bit happier in the moment. So just remember, happier in the moment, don't look for happy all the time. Happier in the moment, absolutely, don't reach for happier all the time. That's just too much of an ask right now. Okay, guys? All right, huge hugs. I love you bunches, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.